I've been skating since I was two years old and competing since I was three. I love it with all my heart. It was what has been consistent throughout my whole life. Skating is, has always been extremely instinctive for me. Um, even when I was younger, it just it just flowed, it just worked right, it just felt right, you know? And it's something that it, I didn't have to be told everything to do and I was seemed to be pretty good at it and everything like that. Um, and it was always easier for me. I'd rather be on the ice than on the ground. I think that reading emotions is usually instinctive and I definitely completely missed that boat. <laughs> I don't have that at all. Um, and the more I try to figure it out, I just really think I'm worse at it than I even thought. I have no idea, like in the past, if someone you know, has been hitting on me, I have no idea, it just goes over my head. I don't know why I can't read people's expressions or their emotions or their underlying what they're saying or their subtle cues. I mean, I, I definitely am not dumb. I just feel like I just miss it. I don't know, it's like it doesn't exist for me. I try to pick up on what other people, people do and or things that I'm told and stuff that I'm supposed to do and then I just try to memorize it and do it wrote how I'm supposed you know do oh I know okay now I'm supposed to shake someone's hand and I remind myself of that and then I and then I do that so I can try to appear as normal as possible. What's that joke you put, told me on the way over? Uh, well the joke was a uh, horse walks into a bar and the bartender says why the long face? <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> I don't... Oh, what's funny about that, honey? Oh. Because you know, horses yeah. actually have... <laughs> yeah, sorry. I don't... I don't get jokes very well. <laughs> but now that you explain it to me, it's very funny. <laughs> yeah. I'm really passionate about skating and spiders, and I really love researching about spiders, reading up on it, um, going out and looking for them. I really enjoy that, and studying them, taking photos of them. I think they're really beautiful. Well, he has eight legs. He's got a lovely little triangle on his abdomen, which is really beautiful. Um, it's a dark brown. And the fact that they just create, you know, this such a strong, strong material, out, you know, that comes out when they create the webs is just, to me, is just intriguing. You know, it's beautiful. If you ever see webs anywhere, I mean, they're, the fact that this comes in instinct from the spider to me is just amazing. They just, they build this, you know, entire mansion for themselves and it's beautiful. It's geometric. A lot of times it's amazing symmetry. You know, and I just think it's an absolutely beautiful thing. The first time I heard the word Asperger's was probably later, uh, more recently. Um, Jennifer told me, suggested that I might have that and that I should, you know, get checked out and see if there isn't anything that could help me deal with it better. Um, when I was younger, I got diagnosed with autism. Again, I didn't take anything for it. Especially in my relationship, I really wish I could read emotions better. Um, I feel bad for Jennifer because I feel like I'm really, really bad at that. And I'd like for that especially because I know it's hard for her. She is sometimes like, she can do something that's okay, but if she was to do the exact same thing to me, she doesn't understand why it would be upsetting. And I've tr I tried like, imagine, if I did this to you, how would you feel? And she's like, I'd feel fine. And then I'll do it to her and she gets really mad. And I'm like, I thought you said you'd feel fine. <laughs> so it's, she, it's really hard for her to understand things if she hasn't exactly experienced that. I like routine and I like things how I want them. And if we establish something is gonna go a certain way and then it veers from that, I just, like I said, the whole world's spinning. I feel like everything is just gonna, you know, fall down around me and everything. 
And so Jennifer has helped me make this, uh, this, she made this chart for me actually. And so as my name there, and then this is the week, you know, Sunday to Saturday. And she wrote in here, uh, shower, wash face, floss teeth, brush teeth, deodorant, comb hair, drink water and stretch. So they're all things that I don't think of to do on my own. And so this helps me because I'm a routine person. It helps me. I can come and put a sticker there if I did it. And then she said that after I get a hundred stars, we can go to the um, the zoo or the aquarium. So I'm very excited about that. I almost have a hundred. The thing is, is, if she gets on a regular schedule and she knows that her shower days right now are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and her flossing days are Tuesday, Thursday. So if if she showers at all those days regularly, then she'll get used to it and want to shower because it's now that'll be my routine. She has to do it because she can't change her routine because her routine can't change. But since we did that, most effective thing I've ever done.